Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're going to talk about what is an href in Canvas and how can I use it to enhance my class content. I'd like to start out by looking at examples of hrefs in Canvas. So hrefs essentially create clickable links for your Canvas users. Those can be external, so I'll show some examples here of an unsplashed picture, for example. So that link takes me to this picture. You can also hyperlink pictures themselves. So this picture is clickable, and when I click on that, then I can go to that same link. You can use hrefs internally as well. This will take me to different pages within my Canvas course. I can direct students to my announcements page or a specific announcement that I've created, as well as quizzes. And you can also create buttons that are hyperlinked with href. So if I click on this, it'll take me to the course overview, which I've determined is this module on the modules page. You can also use hrefs internally to create a table of contents. I'm going to open this up in a new tab, and this is a different video that I've created where I can have hrefs that take me to different places on the page. So these are all clickable, and it's all on the same page. I can jump to the top, I can navigate around, and I've also created a page where I have buttons that take me to different places on the page. And then I have links to take me back up to the top so the students can navigate around using a table of contents. And I have a video dedicated exclusively to creating a table of contents on your Canvas page. Some other things you can do with hrefs are you can create a link that's not decorated. By default, hyperlinks are blue with an underline underneath them. And I think that styling is important because it tells students that this is something that you can click on and it'll take you to an important link and it'll take you to a different place. Sometimes you don't want it to be decorated though and so you can remove that decoration, which is the blue coloring and the underline. You can also use hrefs to create custom email templates. So if I click on this, then it pulls up my email client and I can see that various things are automatically populated, including a subject and even some text in the body. So I'll show you how to create that in a moment. And finally, if your page is long and it has a lot of content, you can create an href that returns the student to the top of the page. So again, the question is, what is an href in Canvas? Well, an href creates a clickable link, meaning there's some kind of interactive component that the students will either click on some text or click on a picture, and based on them interacting with the href, it'll take them to a different place. So the components of the href are you're going to need an anchor tag in the HTML, and then you're going to have to specify where does the href go. href equals, and then you point them to a URL. That URL can be a website, it can be a downloadable link, it can be a place within the Canvas page even. And optional, within the anchor tag, if you put target equals and then underscore blank in quotation marks, then that specifies that when the student clicks on the link, it'll pop up a new tab and take them outside of Canvas. So let's return back to this Canvas page and look under the hood. Let's look at the edit options and see how can we edit this. Now you can do a lot of hrefs without having to go into the code, but I'm going to show you both ways. Here I have some words. It's unsplash picture. And when I click on that, I can remove the link and I can see the link options. So the link options are I have text, unsplash picture, and then I have a link. I would put that link to where I want them to go. Now if I remove that link, then I can take those words and I can still add a URL. I can highlight one, two, I can highlight an entire sentence if I wanted or a phrase. And then the two ways that you can do this are one in the rich content editor, you can say, I want to add an external link and then you would put the link that you want to add. Another way to get to that, a shortcut is hold control on your keyboard and press K and then you can add the link that way. I can do the same thing with a picture. This picture is hyperlinked. Let's go ahead and remove the link, and then I'll press Control K, and I can put the link right there. And the link can take your students anywhere where you want them to go. Just be mindful that if it's behind a paywall, then they're gonna have to have a username and password to access it. So now I'll go ahead and click Done, and now those are both hyperlinked. And let's switch over to the HTML editor to see what that looks like. Here I have those first words that are hyperlinked, so I can see my anchor tag right here, the anchor tag is actually this whole thing right there. Now you can just ignore class and you can even ignore these things right now. Canvas will add those automatically. The important thing is that I have an anchor and then within the anchor I have href equals and then I have the website where I want it to go and then I close the quotation mark and then close the anchor. Everything after this anchor will be hyperlinked until it gets to the end of the anchor tag. So if I were to move this to right here then now unsplash is hyperlinked, but picture would not be hyperlinked. 
And then the same thing right here. This is the image that I have in Canvas. And then here's the anchor. And so I have the anchor saying that when you click on whatever that is, whether it's a word, a paragraph, an image, then it's going to take me to that website. And then here's the close of the anchor. So let's go ahead and save that since I made a change. Let's take a look at that change. In Canvas, since this takes me externally to a different website, it puts in this icon right here. And that's just letting the students know that this links to an external site. You're going to leave Canvas in order to visit that site. So when I click on that, then I can see the website. And picture is not hyperlinked since I moved the close of the anchor to after unsplash and before picture. Now let's look at the internal hyperlinks. This is pretty interesting. I'm actually going to delete all of these and we're going to start over. Now suppose I were to say something like refer to the course announcements for more info. If I wanted, I can click on, let's click on course announcements and I'm going to hyperlink a course link. So go to course link and I want to click on announcements. I happen to not have any announcements, but if I did, then I would click on the announcement that I want to refer to. Now, if I want to say, just go to any course announcement, I can actually grab this announcement right here and I'll drag that down. And I will write course announcements, refer to course announcements for more info. And I can drag other things. I can say, here, go visit the discussions or visit the syllabus. I can just drag and drop those things or I can add course links this way. I can say, go to the individual pages. And so I can say, go to five principles for creating accessible documents. And I can change this after the fact. I can go to link options, for example, and I can say accessibility, for example, and click done. And so it's incredibly easy to link to things within your Canvas course. Now this next one, this Canvas overview is actually a button that I created. And let's do something fun. Instead of linking this to the module, Let's grab this syllabus link and we're going to change it to be a course syllabus. So I'm going to go into the HTML editor and let's find that. It's right here. So that here's my anchor and I put a class. The class is btn-large, btn-info, and btn. This code specifies that it's a button instead of just regular text. And so I added the syllabus up here. Let me grab that href. I'm going to copy it right here, href equals quotation mark and this website. And I'm going to cut that and then I'm just going to delete the rest of this. So I don't need that. And I'm going to find the anchor. So here's the anchor and I do have some styling. We have other videos that talk about what the styling does. Here's the href. So right now the href takes me to the modules page. I'm going to replace this and I'm going to paste it with the code that I just copied. So what this saying is href, it's going to take me to this website. The website happens to be my Canvas course, and then assignments, and then syllabus. And just for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. Canvas automatically, when you save the page, it adds some of its own code, but I'm just keeping this simple right now. And so again, if I isolate this, then what I'm looking at, there's a paragraph. So this is all a paragraph. And then I have my anchor, and I'm specifying that this anchor, I actually want it to be a button. I want to add a little bit of margin. I'm going to have a background color. I can change that color to whatever I want. And then when you click on the button, then it takes the student to this page, which is the syllabus page. And then when I close the anchor, that's the end of the button. And then what this is, is that's the, those are the words that I want inside the button. I'm going to change that actually to course, from course overview to syllabus. Let's go ahead and save that and take a look at it. So here you can see the button is changed from course overview to syllabus. I can see in the lower left hand corner, a preview of where that link is going to take me. So then I'll go ahead and click on that and it takes me right here to the syllabus page. So the table of contents, again, we've talked about this in other videos, but what this looks like, it's a little bit different than a typical href because it doesn't take you to a different URL. Instead, when you create a table of contents, you're specifying href equals, and then you have to define where it goes. In this case, I have hashtag section underscore one, section underscore two, and then later in the document, I have to define where those go. And so there's ID section one. So when I click on this hyperlink, it'll take the user down here to section one. Some other things I can do, I can make undecorated text and I can send mail. So let's take a look at this and hop in the HTML editor. If you want to undecorate your hyperlink, then within the anchor tag, anywhere within the anchor tag, you just want to put style equals and then text decoration none. And in this case, I also specified a color for the text so it wouldn't be blue. So this way it's not underlined and it's also not blue. This is a shade of dark gray. 
and then it takes me to this href. So in this case, it's just that unsplash picture that I used. Now let me go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to grab this href from up here, href and the table of contents one. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna replace this with that code. The reason I did this is now I have two examples. One is a hyperlink that takes me outside of Canvas to Unsplash, and the other one takes me to a place within Canvas. So here's the link to that Canvas page. And another thing that you'll notice is I put this code right here, target equals, and then in between the quotation marks, underscore blank. And what that does is when they click on it, it takes them to a different tab instead of keeping it within the same tab. In fact, let's do this for, with this. I'm gonna copy this code once more and paste that. And for one of them, I'm going to delete that code and for the other, I'll keep it. So now I have a hyperlink that's taking me outside of Canvas, one that's taking me inside of Canvas, but it's gonna open up a new tab. And then this third one will just keep me in the same tab and keep me in Canvas. So let's save that and take a look. So undecorated, I know just from this little icon that it's gonna take me outside of Canvas. So I click on that and it opens up a new tab and it takes me to that page. Here's another one, I'm gonna click on that. It takes me to a new tab, but it keeps me in the Canvas course. And then this last one, I'm gonna click on that and it takes me to that new page, but it keeps me in the same tab. The next thing we'll show is how to create a boilerplate for if people click on your link, then it'll automatically pop up their email client, whether it's Google or Outlook, whatever. So just to review, when I click on this, I use Outlook and so it automatically fills in my two, it fills in a CC, it puts in a subject and it puts in the body and you can specify which things it fills in. So this is something, before I go into the generator, we'll look at what the code looks like. It's something called mail to. So the href right here, I have the anchor. This is my anchor tag. This is the text that I want hyperlink. So they click on this and then that happens and then here's the end of the anchor. And so the href is this code right here. And it's a lot of code since I put a lot in there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and let's create some new ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google uh, mail to generator, mail to link generator, and click on any one of these. Now you can write this out by hand, but there are plenty of generators out there to help you. So I can start by saying my email at address.com. You would put in whatever email address. Do you want to include BCC or CC? If so, you can put those there. We can put the subject, and then you can leave it at that if you want, or you can put in something in the body. So you can customize all of this if you want, and then I'm gonna grab the code down at the bottom, and then let's find that spot right here, the mail to, so I'm gonna put in href equals, and then I'll copy the mail to that they gave me. So it is complicated, but that's how you do that. So what it's saying is href, so when I click on send mail, what's going to happen Instead of going to a URL, you notice that a lot of these are, uh, when the student clicks on it, it'll take you to HTTPS, the website, the URL. In this case, we don't really have a URL. Instead, it's a mail to. So it's telling the browser when the student clicks on this, we're going to open up the email client and they're gonna email this address. And in the simplest form, that's what a mail to is. It's just send an email to an address. But I added some more things and so it has question mark cc equals so it's saying email this address but also i want you to copy this address right here my other email at address.com and then it says and subject equals so the subject would be right here and it's going to dif differentiate spaces by saying percentage 20. so i have learning space percentage 20 about space hrefs so that's the subject right there. That's the code for the subject. And then I have the body. So I, you don't have to specify a body. You could end it right there. But I put a body. So body equals, and then this would be the content of my body. So it's just gibberish right here. But there's the words, and then there's a space. You have to actually differentiate the space between the words, and you do that with percent %20. And so that's why I think it's better to just get one of those generators as opposed to trying to do this. Because if you accidentally forget a space, then you're gonna have some words that look weird. So just Google up a mail to generator and type it in, grab their code, and then you'd put that code right here in the href section. And there you have the send mail. And the last thing I'll show you is you can make a very simple href by saying href equals, and then in between the quotation marks, just go hashtag top, and that'll take your user to the top of the page. You don't need any more code. 
you just put this in front of the text that you want. In this case, I put return to top. You could call that bounce back up, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's look first at the send mail link that we created. So when I click on that, I can see all of those fields are populated. And then here's that bounce back up link. And if I click on that, it takes me right to the top of the page. So these are the ins and the outs of working with hrefs. You can do it from the rich content editor. You can do it from the HTML editor. I really recommend exploring both and so that you can be comfortable with both. Sometimes it's just faster if it's a simple hyperlink to just use the rich content editor and use the keyboard shortcut, control K. And sometimes you really want to get into the HTML editor and make sure that you have a grasp of what's going on back there. If it's something more complicated, like a mail to or something. So for more tips and tricks, please subscribe to this channel and visit us on social media. You can also see my supplementary blog post for this video at my website, howtocanvas.com. If you're doing something really interesting with hyperlinks in your course and you want to share it with us, then please leave a comment in the chat below. I would definitely love to learn from you and see what you're doing. And I'll see you next time. And everybody, happy teaching and learning.